Hi, my name is Irene Franzese, and um, I was at the gym this morning. I was on my elliptical, and I got an inspiration for doing a, a blog post, and I wanted to share this with you because it's not how many times you fall, but how many times you get up. Uh, so I want to tell you a little story that happened to me about, oh, I say about 15 years ago, and it's funny. It's a funny story. I was actually riding my bike with my husband, and we were in Weston, down in uh, South Florida, uh, in the Fort Lauderdale area. And uh, we were riding on a bike path. You know, it wasn't on a bike lane. It was on, uh, you know, where the uh, grass is. But it's a bike lane, or people walk or jog. So anyway, I'm riding around. Um, I mean, I'm riding, and my husband is always in front of me. And we, I know the route, so he goes way ahead of me. He's faster than I am. And I was just going along. But what happened was I was just coming. It was like a little bend, and this kid comes around, and he had to be like no more than five years old, and he's on this little tricycle, and he's smack dab in the middle of the, the, the lane. So I had to move over. I wasn't going fast. I was going slow. So I kind of went up on the grass, you know, that, but it was a deep incline. And I'm telling you, it's so funny. A lot of you can relate to this. If you remember the old uh, TV show Laughing, where the guy with uh, was on with the yellow slicker and he was at this little tricycle and he hits like a bump or, or a rock or something. And he just kind of falls over very like slow motion and he stays there. Well, that's what happened to me. That flashed through my mind when this happened. Because I actually rolled over very gently, but it was a very deep incline. So it, I slid down and I landed right up against a chain link fence and the bike was on top of me. And I look up and the little boy is, this all happened so quick. This little boy happened to go right past me and behind him was his father. But they never, he never saw me. He just kept going because he was on a, like I said, on a curb. He didn't see me. So there I lay and I, I was laughing to myself. I said, all right, now how am I going to get out of this? And, you know, I was no, I wasn't in my 20s or 30s. I was in my 50s at the time, going back about 15 years ago. And um, I'm laying there and, and the bike isn't heavy, but I'm in an awkward position and I couldn't get up. So the, the other saying is like, oh, I've fallen and I can't get up, but I was hysterical. I did manage to get up. I pushed the bike over and I got up. I got up on top of the hill and I continued on my way. And my husband finally came around. He came back to see where I was and said, where were you? And all I said was, I was in the bushes. And he kind of gave me a whimsical look like, you were in the bushes? <laughs> so anyway, but the moral of the story is, I fell, I didn't get hurt, and I could have turned around and said, you know what, this was kind of scary, because I could have broken something. I could have been laying there, broke my arm or a leg, and not, you know, and I would have been stuck. Eventually, my husband would have found me. But what I'm trying to get at is, no matter how many times you fall, you need to get up. That's what counts. And I got up, and, you know, and I kept riding my bike, and I rode my bike the next day, and the next day, and the next day. And I know for a lot of um, boomers out there or people that are in their 50s, they kind of, they get scared, you know, when they, and they have this fear of falling and breaking something. Now, I'm not uh, trying to say that if you're not healthy and you're like 70, 80 years old and you never rode a bike before to get on a bike and, and, and start riding a bike. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying if you're fairly healthy and you're out there and you're always, I mean, I've always rollerbladed, I, um, bike riding, uh, I did a lot of different sports, uh, bowling and tennis and golf. I do all this stuff. And in any one of those, you could actually fall. Uh, but it's, you know, you can't have the fear of falling and breaking something because otherwise you'll never live life. You know, you'll just stay stuck right where you are. So it's, you, you need to get over the fear and just do it. You know, God has a plan for you you know, and, and you need to enjoy life. So, I mean, that's what I wanted to relate to you is that, you know, it's not how many times you fall, but how many times you get up. And it's the same thing with my online business. I get people who ask me all the time, well, how soon do you make money? You know, uh, uh, how, how fast did you start to see an income? You know, everybody is different. Some people do it in three months. Some people do it in six months, some a year some two years. It doesn't matter. It's just the fact that if you learn something and you keep doing it, you, you're consistent, you're consistent. It's like falling. If you fall, you'll get up and you keep doing it. 
You don't get scared and say, oh, I'm not going to, you know, like, I'm, I'm not going to do this. It's, it's not working. No, you got to keep going. It doesn't matter. Slow and steady wins the race. So again, it's not how many times you fall. It's how many times you get up. Whether it's in everyday life of sports or if it's with your online business. You just keep going. You don't quit. You don't even think of failing. You just, if you, if you hit a brick wall, you just break through it, go around it, go under it, go over it, however it takes, whatever it takes. So anyway, I just wanted to relay that, that, that short story. It was a very funny story, but I did learn a lesson. And I was just thinking about that today when I was at an elliptical. I don't know why, but I wanted to share that story. I hope you found it a little whimsical. And uh, you can uh, reach me at my blog post at uh, workwithirene.org. And I will see you on the next video. But remember, it's not how many times you fall. It's how many times you get up. I'll see you on the next video.